Welcome back to INC News World. I'm Naomi De La Cruz coming to you from the INC Media Studios in Anaheim, California, as we continue this week's episode. Religious buildings of Christian professing religions are falling into disrepair, with conservative estimates between 4,000 and 7,000 churches closing every year. But as we head to National City, California, the very opposite is happening. I'm Ila Jelano has more on this story. And I watched the chapel from the very beginning all the way to the very end of its construction. As one of the pioneers of the Church of Christ local congregation of National City, Robert recalls when this house of worship was first built in 1984. When it was first built, uh, just very, very happy. Uh, I got to see it from the ground up and every step of the way, just every time we would come to the chapel, just smiles on my face and uh, just couldn't wait to be able to worship in the, uh, the new house of worship. This house of worship was later dedicated to God in 1985. The congregation uh, since then has always continued to progress uh, through the years. And today, Robert joins members in the Ecclesiastical District of San Diego County as members here in National City are blessed with the rededication of the newly renovated House of Worship of National City. This rededication was led via video streaming by the Executive Minister, Brother Eduardo V. Manalo. Uh, National City is unique because it is the first House of Worship built from the ground up here in California. But this was the first time for National City that they had a major renovation and everything was updated and everyone was excited about it. But what made it all the more special that it was going to be rededicated by our beloved executive minister, Brother Eduardo V. Manalo, by means of modern technology. Such a great blessing to have Eduardo Manalo officiate the uh, rededication of our chapel. Such a great blessing for our, Almighty, our Almighty God to already have him give us the renovation that, uh, that we were so looking forward to, but to have Eduardo actually officiate the worship service also, it's an added blessing. Uh, during the worship service, as soon as the brethren entered the sanctuary, they expressed the great joy and happiness and the power of the Holy Spirit that embraced them. And they noticed the beauty and how magnificent the house of worship was. And all the more that inspires them to go on in their membership in the Church of Christ. Just to hear his voice is very reassuring to all the members here in this part of the world, but to have him even do it in our locale uh, is, makes it even more special. When I first saw it, I was very amazed. Um, seeing all the changes, you know, growing up here, seeing it how it was before, and to the changes now from like the new chandeliers, to the new moldings on the walls, um, on the choir loft, the new podium. Um, it really accents very nice with the new color scheme we have inside um, and one other thing is very noticeable is the new LED wall that is there. National City's newly rededicated House of Worship will continue to be a place of hope and help for the members here and those within the community. Once you walk in the doors it, it definitely feels like peace um, and when you have it all to yourself you're able to sit down and pray you can feel that God is here especially since you know, it was rededicated. I feel all the more um, that God is here waiting for His children to come seek Him if we need help. Being able to contribute to taking care of the house of worship, because it is important to us. This is where we come and worship God. Whenever we need His help, this is the first place that we think of. So I want them to have that special feeling also that this is a special place for them also. And by them helping out, I know it, it strengthens their faith and it shows them the importance of importance of the House of Worship. With this newly dedicated House of Worship, members here in National City are inspired to hold on even stronger to their faith. To learn more about Church of Christ Houses of Worship, visit incmedia.org slash blueprint. I'm E. Lajolano, Iglesia Ni Cristo News Network, National City, California. 
From Canada to Europe, these were just some of the places that recently held different activities in the Church of Christ. Let's check it out. Our first stop takes us to the Ecclesiastical District of Calgary, where an evangelical mission was held simultaneously in the northern and southern regions of Calgary. Joined together with their families and friends, members across Calgary gathered to invite more to learn about the biblical-based teachings of the Church of Christ. We're so happy that the brethren, uh, though exhausted from their work, uh, they are still united in sharing their faith. Some actually came straight from work and uh, they are able to invite even their visitors that also came from work as well. So we appreciate our visitors, our brethren for attending uh, this evangelical mission. So we thank our Lord God for a successful night. Despite the distances traveled, the event had an overwhelming turnout of guests. For members like Edlin and Jillian, the activity was an opportunity for them to bring their friends for a chance to listen to the teachings found in the true faith. It's overwhelming because I can see uh, when I um, invite guests during the preaching, I'm looking at them and they are nodding and it, I feel like it touched me. I feel like they are receiving the words of God. It's like a good way to share. Like it's just, it just feels refreshing to like feel like you can share something that's very important to you. Guests and attendants took the time to listen to the words of the Lord God and the teachings upheld in the Church of Christ. Among those in attendance were Cadence and Jericho, eager to learn about the true faith. I think that it's good that like people have faith. Uh, it's very different because I've attended Catholic, Christian. Um, actually, um, I was amazed at um, all of the answers that um, for the questions, or they can pull it out from the Bible. The event proved to be a success with both members and guests alike. We're inspired to be more spiritually united in the true faith. From Calgary, we now take our next visit to the Ecclesiastical District of Southern Ontario where a holy baptism was held as more were added into the true faith. Led by Assistant Supervising Minister Brother Jay Akuna, attendees and baptismal candidates were reminded of the importance of the holy baptism, upheld as one of the teachings in the Church of Christ. The event was followed by a Welcome My Brethren activity where the newly baptized members were given certificates of recognition, along with the members who introduced them to the true faith. From Southern Ontario, we now jump to the Ecclesiastical District of Edmonton, where an in-cinema awards was led by the local congregation of Hinton. Members eagerly gathered together for the in-cinema awards, showing their support for the district's film entry, Chair. Excitement was felt throughout the entire event, which showcased other films presented by other districts in the region. From Edmonton, we jumped to the Ecclesiastical District of Ottawa, where a sign language seminar was held in the House of Worship in Montreal. Members and officers from the Society of Communicators and Networkers, or SCAN organization, gathered in the House of Worship in Montreal to participate in this event. Led by ministerial worker brother Michael Brian Ballo, members were taught basic sign language skills on how to communicate with the deaf community. In order for to teach them the basic sign language and how to conduct themselves when they are in front of deaf brethren, then they know they have a basic understanding of how to introduce themselves, how to make deaf brethren and deaf guests feel more welcome at these events. And also especially it adds knowledge to them so that when they use this new knowledge and going out and evangelizing or sharing their faith with people who are differently able, then they become a more effective instrument in the work of propagation. From simple greetings to signing the alphabet, SCAN members were eager to learn sign language that would prove to be a beneficial experience in connecting with more people to the true faith. Members continue to show their unity as we take our next stop across the Atlantic to the Ecclesiastical District of Northern Europe, where a bowling activity was held in Sweden. 
Members from the local congregation of Stockholm, along with their invited friends and guests, participated in this bowling activity that took place at O'Leary's at the Westfield Mall of Scandinavia in Solna, Stockholm. Being part of this activity uh, made me very happy playing with the brethren and uh, visitors that came and it strengthened our brotherhood and also strengthened my faith. And this is a very fast event that I took part in and I can tell you that I've never been part of such kind of event and I really enjoyed it. First thing is that it made me feel much more welcome, feel much more closer because it's all about bonding, coming together as family. Led by Minister of the Gospel, Brother Oliver Nagui, along with Church Officers of the Christian Family Organizations, or CFO, members took this opportunity to bond and socialize with one another in good sportsmanship. When we are together like this and doing such kind of event, I can tell you so much is happening. In the spirit, in the mentally and all, everything. I'm so glad, I'm so happy, and I will love to come back again. Through its various activities, the Church of Christ continues to further enhance the fellowship of its members in upholding the Christian values and true teachings taught and upheld in the Church of Christ. If you want to learn more about the Church of Christ and the true faith, visit incmedia.org slash incnewsworld. Keep up with the latest news and inspiring stories of INC News World by hitting the subscribe button to the INC Media YouTube channel.